worship our King. Worship, worship our King. Worship our King. Give him praise. Give him praise. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Let somebody give Jesus praise. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Hallelujah, no go finish from my mouth. Hallelujah. As I enter this new year, Hallelujah, no go finish from my tongue. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Do you believe me? You believe me? If you believe me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Goodness and mercy, they follow for my life. Oh, this alone never finished for my tongue. Go, oh. I don't ever finish. Go finish for my mouth. Are you sure? Open your mouth and sing this song. You're gonna send me see them all up for my life. Oh, praise the Lord, never finish for my tongue. Go, oh. hallelujah, never finish. You never finish for my life. Let me hear you sing the song. Let me hear you. Hey, you. Everybody, let me hear you shout out loud. Are you sure? Lift your voice and shout out. Everybody, come on, let me hear you say. Hey. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Follow you, they go. 
you are the best God. You are the living God. We worship thee. We adore you. You are the God of our fathers. We thank you for what you are doing for us. Let's begin to thank him. Let us thank God for mercy. Father, we thank you for provision. None of us ate from dust being yesterday night. Lord, we give you all the glory for provision. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for safety. We thank you for everything you have been doing for us. We cannot thank you enough. If we have 1,000 tongues, they are not enough to praise you. People of God, members of Trinity Sanctuary, all our listeners, Father, we, let's worship God. Let's thank him. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father, we thank you for every great thing you have been doing for us. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, I want us to pray and say, Father, Father arise, arise and save me from shame and disgrace. Shall we begin to pray? In this month of April, Lord, we are calling unto you. Arise, O oh Lord, save us from shame. Save us from disgrace. In the name of Jesus, we know you can save in times of storm. We put our trust in you. We sincerely rely on you. Save us, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's call unto him. In times of shame and disgrace, save us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and say every garment of shame. Every garment of disgrace. The enemy is planning to rob us with. I decree in the name of Jesus. Cash fire. Cash fire. Shall we begin to pray? In this month of April I decree. Every garment of shame. Garment of disgrace. That the enemy is planning to rob me with. To rob us with. We say in the name of Jesus, cash fire, cash fire. He can save you from any shame and disgrace. Let's pray. Every garment of shame, garment of disgrace, they are the enemies planning to rob us with. Holy Ghost fire consume. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire consume. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray and say, Father, every chapter of disgrace in my life, every chapter of disgrace in my family, close it permanently in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Lord, you are the Almighty. You have all power. I decree every chapter of disgrace, every chapter of shame in my life, close it permanently. In the name of Jesus, Father, close it. In the name of Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray that Father, in this month of April, the grace not to depart from your presence. Release unto me in the name of Jesus. Jonah left the presence of the Lord. He was running away to Tarshish. And he experienced storm. Let's pray and say, Father, the grace not to depart from your presence. Release unto me in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Lord Jesus, I want to stay with you. I want to be in your presence so that you can keep watch over me. I don't want to leave your presence. The grace to stay with you, to stay connected. Father, release unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus, release unto me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. There is no doubt about it. The world is experiencing storm. I want us to pray and say, Father, you are the stiller of storms. Every storm ravaging us in the world. 
Steal it, O oh Lord. Shall we begin to pray? In the world today, we talk of COVID-19 pandemic. We talk of banditry. We talk of terrorism. We talk of kidnapping and so on and so forth. Say, Father, deliver us from these storms. Steal these storms in the name of Jesus. You are the one who can provide safety in times of storm. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray and say, Father, give me peace. In the name of Jesus. Absolute peace. Release into my life. Release into my life. Release into my family. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, we pray that you will release your peace. You are the Prince of Peace. Release your peace into my life. Release your peace into my family. Release your peace into our state. Release your peace into our country. Have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray for health workers. Let us pray and say, Father, all health workers who have been busy saving lives at this period, Father, protect them. Keep evil away from them. Shall we begin to pray? Lord, we remember all your children who are in health sector. We commit all health workers into your hand as they are busy saving lives, saving others, taking care of others. Lord, I pray that you will take care of them, protect them, no evil will befall them. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us also pray for our government and say, Lord, we pray for a do state government. We pray for Nigerian government. Father, strengthen them. In all their policies, Father, back them up. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, we remember our leaders at this crucial period as they are striving to ensure their lives are not lost. Lord, we pray that you will support them. You will back them up. We pray for Edo State Government. Father, back, the, back them up in the name of Jesus. We decree in the name of Jesus, no more loss of life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father Almighty, we want to thank you. We give you all the glory because you are a good God. We thank you because you are a God that cannot fail. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, I commit all your children into your hand. I decree every garment of shame, garment of disgrace that the enemy is planning to rob us with. In the name of Jesus, cash fire. In the name of Jesus, cash fire. I decree every chapter of disgrace in our life be closed permanently in the name of Jesus. Be closed permanently in the name of Jesus. We pray for all your children who are in government, all your children who are in health sector, all your children in essential services, even as they are working assiduously at this period to ensure their lives are protected. Father, protect them. Amen. Keep them. Amen. Thank you because of answer. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. And the people of God will say louder, Amen. amen. Safety in times of storm, part two. Safety in times of storm, part two. Verse four to six. I will only read verse six. Jonah chapter one, verse four to six. I will only read verse six. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, what meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so, be that God will think upon us that we perish not. 
Safety in times of storm, part two. In the part one of this lecture, we establish the father whenever there is a storm, whenever there is a tempest, people will begin to run elter skelter looking for different kind of solution. They will begin to call on people to beckon on their God, whether their God can provide a solution. And we establish the father out there is a God in heaven, our God, who can provide a solution and save us in times of storm. In part one, I try to introduce this God to us. We establish the fact that this our God is the Almighty God. He possesses all power. This our God is the living God. He is alive forevermore. This our God is a merciful God. He is gracious and plenteous in mercy. I want you to tell your neighbor, my father is merciful. We move from that to establish the fact that this our God is the savior of the world. In this second part, I want to state it clearly. Our God can save in times of storm. From the scripture we discover that this almighty God can save you from shame and disgrace. I don't know the kind of shame and disgrace that you are going through now. Relax. Our God can deliver you from every shame and disgrace. And that is why I want to prophesy. Every chapter of shame, every chapter of disgrace in your life is closed permanently in the name of Jesus. In 2 Kings chapter 4, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. The Bible tells us about the story of a woman. The woman was a wife of one of the sons of the prophet. After some time, her husband died. She became a widow. But when her husband left, she, he left a lot of debt for her. Her two sons, who could be a sucker, the creditors came suddenly to take them away. And suddenly, the woman began to experience the storm of shame and disgrace. If you look at the story of this woman, it wasn't funny. Her husband died. As she was still mourning, the creditors came to demand for their money. She had no money to pay the debt. As soon as that was not enough, they told her because of your inability to pay the debt, we are taking your two sons away. It was indeed a moment of shame and disgrace for her. But I have good news for you. I don't know the kind of shame the enemy is bringing upon you. I don't know the kind of disgrace that the enemy is bringing upon you. The Lord will surely deliver you from them. In the name of Jesus. I like to prophesy to you today. No more shame and no more disgrace. Can you please wave your right hand and say. In my life no more shame and disgrace. This woman ran to the man of God Elisha. And Elisha told her, go and borrow some empty vessels. And that bottle of oil that you have, make sure you begin to pour it onto the vessels. I'm sure you know the rest of the story. All the vessels became full. Elisha instructed her to sell, paid a debt, and then she should enjoy the rest. Within a twinkling of an eye, the Lord delivered this woman from disgrace and shame. I like to assure you, in this time of storms, my father will deliver you from shame and disgrace. 
if you turn to your Bible, if you turn your Bible to Isaiah 54, Isaiah 54, we are reading first. Turn with me to Isaiah 54. I want you to know that God can take away your shame. He can take away your disgrace. Isaiah 54, we are going to read verse 4. Isaiah 54, verse 4. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Amen. The one who can deliver from shame and disgrace is saying, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed. I don't know the situation you are. I don't know what you are going through now. I don't know what the enemy is bringing your way. And you are thinking that you are about to be disgraced and to be put to shame. I have a God who can deliver from shame and disgrace. Just as that widow learned to the man of God, Elisha, if you can cry unto him today, he will turn your disgrace to abundant grace. Instead of shame, he will decorate you with honor. My father can save you from shame and disgrace, just as he saved this widow from shame and disgrace. Number two, this God that I'm talking about can deliver you from noisome pestilence, he can bring safety. In times of noisome pestilence. If you read Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Let's read. Verse 2 and 3. Psalm 91. Verse 2 and 3. This God can deliver you from noisome pestilence. Psalm 91 verses 2 and 3 says. I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust. First he says surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. It is written clearly that this God shall deliver thee from noisome pestilence. Today in the world, people are talking of COVID-19 pandemic. People are talking about the ravaging of coronavirus. I like to tell you, it can deliver you from it. There are some sicknesses that have taken even more life than that of COVID-19. But because it is not as noisy as COVID-19, nobody is talking about them. But this issue of COVID-19, I want you to know it is called noisome pestilence. Because the whole world is feeling it. Because that pandemic is ravaging the whole world. But I have good news. It can deliver in times of storm. He has promised that he would deliver us from noisome pestilence. In, in Numbers 21, verse 6 to 8, Numbers 21, 6 to 8, the children of Israel were under the attack of fear and suffering. And this fear and suffering deposited prisoners of better into their lives. And the Bible says much people died. It was a noisome pestilence. A lot of them were dying because of the attack of the fear and The cry of the Moses, and God spoke to Moses and said, Make a blazing Sabbath. As many as we behold that Sabbath shall be made over. The point that I'm trying to bring out is that when the children of Israel 
to be fired for something happened to them. I don't know the fire that is burning you. I don't know the fire behind your fire. The enemy that has prepared for you. Don't say, Lord, I will deliver you from this. forces of darkness legislating shape legislating disgrace into my life in the name of Jesus be destroyed cash fire cash fire cash fire in the name of Jesus cash fire cash fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray and say my father my father you have promised me that I will not be ashamed 
let shame be far away from me. Let shame be far away from my children. Let shame be far away from my family. Let disgrace be far away from me. I want you to pray in this crucial moment, in this time of storm, you have promised me I will not be put to shame. You have promised me I will not be confounded. I decree in the name of Jesus, let shame, let disgrace be far away from me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. I want you to pray and say my father, my father decorate me with abundant grace. Decorate me with honor. Shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? I decorate me with abundant grace. Decorate me with glory. Decorate me with honor. You decorated that widow with abundant grace. She paid all her debt. She had more than enough. You removed her shame. Decorate me with honor. Decorate me with favor. Decorate me with glory. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray. Decorate me with glory. Decorate me with shame. In the name of Jesus. You are the almighty God. You can do all things. In Jesus name we pray. I want to pray and say I cover myself by the blood of Jesus. I cover my family by the blood of Jesus. I cover my household by the blood of Jesus. Father, keep noisome pestilence far away from us. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? He promised and said, I will deliver you from noisome pestilence. Every noisome pestilence. Every pestilence that is not noisome. Father, keep them far away from me. I bring my family. I bring my children under your care. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they save. Lord, I call unto you today in the name of Jesus. Keep noisome pestilence far away from me in the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Keep noisome pestilence far away from me in Jesus' name we pray. I want you to say, Father, I look unto you. Say, Lord, I look unto you. My family looks unto you. In the name of Jesus, every attack of noisome pestilence, destroy it in our lives. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, we look unto you. We have no other person to run to. You are the almighty God. You are the one who guarantees safety in times of storm. I decree in the name of Jesus, as my family and I look unto you, keep noisome pestilence away from us. In the name of Jesus, keep noisome pestilence away from us in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray lift up your two and say father we call unto you say we call unto you keep put an end to this COVID-19 pandemic shall we pray in the name of Jesus it is a noisome pestilence we cannot undo it by our power put an end to it oh Lord you can deliver from noisome pestilence you have promised us that it will not come near us. Deliver our country. Deliver our nation. Deliver Edo State. In the name of Jesus. From noise and pestilence. Deliver us from this pandemic. Let there be a solution. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Lord. Deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us. In the name of Jesus. Deliver us. In Jesus name we pray. I want you to pray and say, Father. Strengthen me. Say, oh Lord, strengthen me. Strengthen my children. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, I need strength. Renew my strength, oh Lord. Strengthen my children. All our members in Region 13, strengthen them. All our members in Edo State, strengthen them. All children of God, strengthen them. Keep evil away from us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to move around and prophesy. Say, in this month of April, the fire of the enemy will not consume me. In the name of Jesus, say, I decree.
in this month of April year 2020 the fiery furnace of the enemy will not consume me will not consume my spouse will not consume my children will not consume any member of our household in the name of Jesus let's pray the fire of the enemy will not consume our nation Nigeria the fire of the enemy will not consume our state Edo in the name of Jesus let's pray he can deliver you from fiery furnace he delivered Daniel he delivered Shadrach Meshach and Abednego from fiery furnace in the name of Jesus deliver us from fiery furnace every fire of the enemy over the world quench it O Lord put an end to it in the name of Jesus put an end to it in the name of Jesus put an end to it in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray I want us to pray and say Father the grace to trust in you at this crucial moment the grace to look at you at all times the grace to live holy to do your will release unto us in the name of Jesus shall we begin to pray Lord the grace to trust on you your word say they that trust God shall be as Mount Zion which can never be removed but abided forever as mountains are land about Jerusalem so the Lord encamped around his people for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put forth his hand into iniquity the grace to trust you at all times in this time of two stops the grace to rely on you our father release unto us in the name of Jesus release unto us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Whatever may be your request in this month of April, begin to ask God. Say, Father, send help unto me. In the name of Jesus. At this crucial moment, I will not lack. In the name of Jesus, I will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go into extinction. Remember me. Open my book of remembrance. In Jesus' name we pray. Before I pray, I'd like to announce to us, be steadfast, be unmovable, continue to abound in the work of the Lord. Move closer to him. Do his will in the comfort of your home. Make sure you pray. Study the scripture. Move closer to him. I can assure you, in this time of storm, you will be saved. Let me also appeal to you that let us not forget to keep the rule of hygiene. Wash your hands with soap regularly under a running water. Sanitize your hands. Maintain the rule of social distancing, knowing for sure that cleanliness is next to godliness. You will discover that in this time of storm, the Lord will surely protect you. For those of us who want to pay our tithes and offering, the link has been posted on our platform. Follow the link and do the writing. The Almighty God will bless and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus every chapter of disgrace and shame in your life is closed permanently in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame, every arrow of disgrace that the enemy is shooting at you, I decree, back to sender in the name of Jesus. Back to sender in the name of Jesus. To all of you who are children of God, to those who are listening to me, instead of disgrace, God will give you abundant grace. Instead of shame, he will decorate you with honor. He will decorate you with glory. In the name of Jesus. Because you put your trust in God, I decree, he will deliver you from noisome pestilence. He will deliver you from every pestilence. In the name of Jesus. As you look unto Jesus, you shall be COVID-19 free. In the name of Jesus. As many as are already struck now by this virus, I pray in the name of Jesus, God will shower his mercy on you. You will not die suddenly. In this month of April, the fire of the enemy will not burn you. In the name of Jesus, I say the fire of the enemy will not burn you. The Lord will preserve you. 
he will keep you he will wash over you he will protect you protect your children protect everything that belongs to you the grace to move closer to him receive in the name of Jesus thank you because you have answered for we have prayed in Jesus name a louder amen. amen praise the Lord tell your neighbor relax God is in control he will definitely save you in times of storm God bless you all